welcome back to Fashion Attack. For those who don't know me, my name is Mika, and this is the channel where we do any sort of DIY. But today, I'm not alone. I have a dope girl who's gonna be on the channel with me, so let her come in. <laughs> so, her name is Ori. You can follow her Instagram or YouTube over here. This is the link. And I'm just the luckiest girl because she just moved back to Tel Aviv. Yes. I have a friend. <laughs> And I'm the luckiest because I've heard about Mikol from my friend Julia. And when I saw her style and design, I was like, oh my god, she gets me before she even know me. <laughs> we are gonna make her apartment look completely boho because that is her style. She's actually so cool. And first important, super important, super important part is to bring a huge chandelier on the top that is gonna bring the vibe inside the apartment. Yes. But we do stuff DIY over here, so we're not gonna buy it. <laughs> so today, for the first time, I'm gonna try to do a tutorial or a DIY with someone else. And we didn't test it, so like always, bear with us and with our mistakes, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. When you said chandelier, <laughs> I was like, chandelier? Is it? <laughs> chandelier, I was like, I'm with you, let's try this. Wait a second. <laughs> we are gonna show you the equipment, but basically it's just from this. It went away. <laughs> <laughs> with this! Yes. Equipment. You need some white school glue, then some spray glue, there are scissors, huge balloons. I'm gonna link down below where to get those. Then some cornstarch. Guys, I know it's weird, but you need this. We're not cooking. And a lot of rope. A lot of rope. A lot of rope. So first of all, we have to protect your floor because we're gonna be extremely messy. So we just put trash all over the floor. And then I bought two different balloons because I really don't want them to explode. We're gonna put one inside the other and blow them up. Double it up. Am I blowing it? Yes, you're blowing it. <laughs> <laughs> so you put one inside the other. How do I do that? I've never. I think it's wrapped up. <laughs> First try. <laughs> Maybe we first blow one. And see how strong it is. And then put the other one inside. After that is blown, so you're blowing only one. It's hard even one. It's supposed to be a huge balloon. It's gonna work. The first step, you do one balloon and you throw away the other balloon. <laughs> is it big this enough? This is not a human. This is a machine right there. Is it big enough? You want to bring it? Yeah, I think that's oh big. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Don't explode, baby. Don't explode. No. Don't. No. Don't. Chandelier for you. We are adding cornstarch. Cornstarch. For a very weird reason. We're not cooking, but this is going to make the glue become way more solid. So once that the um, structure is going to be dry, it's going to hold very stiff. There we go guys, we are ready for the tutorial. The amount that we're gonna use is obviously a little bit random, but we want way more glue than water. So three times the amount of glue compared to the amount of water. Then we add three, four tablespoons of cornstarch and we start twirling around this mixture. Once your rope is completely wet, we start wrapping it around the balloon. Make a little knot on the top of the balloon and start wrapping it from the top to the bottom multiple times. So basically what you want to do is to wrap it around always in opposite directions. You're gonna have to do it like a thousand times and you want to make it tight enough to not fall off but not tight that if the balloon moves a little bit it's gonna like pop inside of it. So that's what we're gonna do. This sort of glue is super easy to remove from your clothes but guys do not wear your favorite outfit because it's gonna get messy. Once you have your rope completely wet you just go up and down around the balloon till you went around the entire direction but then you have to start to go horizontally the top of the balloon is skinnier so this means that the rope is going to hold itself but more you go lower more it's going to be fat and that's going to be a bit hard to hold but don't worry you're just going to find your way through it naturally as you go through it the tutorial is basically self-explanatory go around multiple multiple times and yes you can totally do this alone but a second hand of a friend is going to be more than useful when you finish to go completely around, just make a tiny knot on top. We use four yarns of rope. If you use five, it's just going to become darker and less light is going to pass through. So it depends what you want to be your final effect of the lamp. We 
are back like two days later, it's completely dry. Like, it became so hard. I didn't expect it actually. And now uh, the real problem is gonna be, how do we take out the balloon? <laughs> yes. We did a lot of scientific theories around it, but I think that we're just gonna try it together, like always. <laughs> okay, don't cut your finger. You wanna try? First attempt was one to let Arit cut the top of the rope and let the top of the balloon out so to release the air, but we got bored very quickly. It just was not working. The only thing I know is that if it's gonna pop on our face, I'm oh gonna have the God. best video of my life. Oh my God, we don't. <laughs> Let's pop it. It can't go, it can't go too bad. It's working. Yeah. Wow. Take the sound of fireworks. <laughs> this was the coolest thing ever. Okay. So now we can go from the bottom that is only one thread at a time and cut out the area from where we want the light to come outside and the top. This really looks so weird inside. You're gonna end up with an empty bottom that then you can fix and do the circle as perfect as you can if there's any flying threads. <laughs> And on the top, if you did not have the little thing of the balloon coming outside so easily, just go inside with a screwdriver and make your hole or go with a lot of patience and make the teeny tiny hole with your scissors or the precision knife. You just need enough space to pass a cable inside. So it's not a big deal. Let's ignore the glue on my fingers and pass to the most scary part of home improvements, electricity. We will have to pass this tiny cable inside our chandelier. So we need to make it without all the rest of the structure. It's super easy and all you have to do is always screw out these little thingies and keep on the sticker of N and L. Because when you put it back on your ceiling, you have to match N with N, L with L. And that's it. Now, keep in mind that you had the N is the blue, the L is the brown, and that's where you're gonna have to place them back inside once you're done. Ta -da! Now it's tiny enough to pass it inside your lamp. Just pass it inside the little hole where the head of the balloon was passing through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy to assist in this incredible thing. I can't believe it, it's entering. It's scary and it's not, it's not, it's not happy. It's very scary the fact that I can break it with my fingers. <laughs> 